to get my abortion right now. I don't give a fuck. Dog. Judge who you want, bitch. Dog. Fuck them babies, fuck them babies bitch. bitch. Fuck that nigga. I'm not having no kids by that nigga. <laughs> Oh, you can see it from, from the, the back, back. Oh, right Everybody know that. Dump, dump, dump. Yo, Okay, we back, baby. YouTube fan, what's popping, man? It's your boy P. Let me get situated real quick, y'all. Y'all know I'm still learning and figuring all this stuff out. I, I thank y'all for for hanging in there with me, and um, let's get this thing started. So. Like I said, welcome back. Tough Love, Truth Hurts. I'm your host, P. And uh, welcome to my channel. I should have did this a long time ago, but um, like I said, I'm just getting started. And uh, we're getting everything together. So over the next couple weeks and months, y'all will be receiving a lot more content of, of better quality. And uh, that's how we're going to get it done. So with that being said welcome and today i got a i think i got a good topic for us i mean it's one of my favorite topics right now and that is accountability everybody's favorite word right <laughs> i feel like that's what we missing today we missing there there is a lack of accountability in the world y'all and um it's sickening it really is and uh if you feel me if you could feel that then Hang out for a little while. Let's talk about it. Now, what we're going to be talking about in particular is it's a topic that's trending right now. Um, I don't know if, how many of y'all are familiar with the female rapper Sukiana, but um, yeah, Suki is trending right now for, I guess they're trying to say that YK Osiris kind of like sexually assaulted her. And um, by today's definition, I would say that that is true. Um, that was definitely like some type of misconduct for sure, because she didn't ask for it. But before I start breaking it down, let's just get into the clip. I can show y'all the clip. Here it is right here. Oh my God. <laughs> by saying this first things first why K. Osiris was wrong for what he did she did not ask for a kiss he did not ask for a kiss so there was no consent um I think that it was uncomfortable to watch a little bit to be totally honest but is we gonna make him a full out uh r word no no I think that their industry uh Pierce and I think that he overstepped his boundaries and that was very wrong he shouldn't have done that um but I would like to discuss this topic with a little bit of nuance now we take a look at Sukiyana and her career very sexual orientated her whole aesthetic is thought city girl uh just keep it real whore let's just keep it a buck sukiana has only fans i don't know if y'all seen some of her music videos but uh i think in one of her more recent videos she was actually getting walked like a dog by uh an le chopper i mean hey whatever floats your boat boo like if that's what you went to that's what you went to you know what i mean I'm not shaming you, but at the end of the day, like, let's be real. We got to have some accountability. Look at how you carry yourself. Right? Hey, get on my face when you burn me. Play with my dude while you burn me. It can be like you burn me. Where your friend be your buddy? I don't think that you enough. You can't. Now, a much more classier woman, a much more put together woman a woman that holds herself in high regard demands her respect that probably wouldn't have happened to her let's just be totally honest he didn't do that behind closed doors he did that in front of everybody y'all was in a room full of people he was sitting next to little duval 
You feel me? It was no shame in his game. He thought that he was well within his right to do what he did. Now, we all know, like I said, he was not well within his right to do what he did. However, what made him think that he could do that? What made him think that he could do that, y'all? I mean, let's just keep it a buck. What made YK Osiris think that that was okay to do to Sukiyana? Could it possibly be because of the way that she carries herself as a woman? With children, might I add. Now, today, we done got to this place where it's money over everything. Everything is about a dollar. People justify just about every single thing that they do, as well as the things that other people do, by throwing money at it, by hiding behind the money. Money can't solve all your problems, people. Money don't make you a thorough person. Money don't make you not a thought. Money don't turn a lame nigga into a thorough nigga. That's not how this work. If you basing your worth of how much money you have, we got a whole nother discussion to have because that means your soul got a price. You got a price. Your integrity has a price. Because for a dollar, you could justify just about anything, right? That's where we at in the world. Now, like I said, let's let's get into some clips. Let's get into some more clips of Sookie because I don't want y'all to feel like I'm picking on her. Some of y'all might not even, you know, be that familiar with her. So what I'm saying right now could be going over a lot of y'all heads. And one of these clips that I'm going to show y'all, I want y'all to pay very close attention to who she is twerking on, who she's dancing on. Pay very close attention. So let's get into that, y'all. I'm a trifling bitch, lack and mouth. I'm a trifling bitch, lack and mouth. I'm a trifling bitch, love. All right, we back. So, with that being said, this is, you know, let's get into some of Suki tweets from today. She's feeling a little down right now, y'all. So, we're going to take it easy on her. All right. We ain't going to, we ain't going to draw too much on her. But like I said, I've already explained the situation, and this is what Suki had to say after the fact. Suki says, I drink to hide that I'm very sensitive. I feel things more than the average person. I stopped drinking yesterday, but today I've been crying all day, y'all. I asked God to strengthen me and use me to help others and to order my steps in his word. I just want to go away for a while. Now, am I tripping? Or am I tripping? Did this have to just bring God into this situation? Bruh. Was he, is he guiding all these thought activities that you, that you went to, baby girl? Where is God in any of this? Where is God in your lyrics? Where is God in your music? Where is God on your social media account? Is God on the OnlyFans with you? Is he? Because <laughs> I know the Lord ain't sanctioning that. And I'm not one to judge. But I got two eyeballs. And I'm using them. And I got an opinion. So I'm giving it. These are the types of women that our young sisters is out here following, y'all. That's just what it is. This is our future. This is who they decided to give a platform to. Suki with the good coochie. Suki with the good coochie. Right? Let's get into the next tweet. Let's see what else she had to say. She said, I am hurt. I am scared to stand up for myself. Once again, victim mentality. When it's time to be accountable, you got to stand in that and be accountable. Because if you don't, what did you actually learn from that situation? What value did you learn from that? What, what, What did you take from what you went through? I'll wait. 
what did you take from what you just went through? Now, did this scare you enough to maybe change some of your behaviors? I doubt it. And I'm going to be real. I might say something that's a little bit controversial, y'all, but I don't care. I'm We giving it up. It's tough love. Truth hurts. That's just what it is. Truth hurts sometimes, but I, I got I to gotta keep it a buck. Look, man, I'm going to be honest. I really think that she leaning into this. I don't think this is that big of a deal for her. I mean, like I said, if y'all check out the aesthetic, check out her vibe. Nothing about this little situation make me feel like she felt like she was that violated for, for this. I think that at this point, she's using it to her advantage. Victimhood is hot right now. Feminism is hot right now. You feel me? So what better way to get the people on your side? Because she ain't the biggest of artists. She's not. She gonna come up still. She's been around for a while. She done tried everything to get on. All types of uh, uh, shock jock type shit. You feel me? None of it worked. None of it worked. But she is getting bigger. She getting bigger. She was just on a breakfast club. So like I said, you know, I don't really think that it's any talent there. So what else can you do? It's kind of similar to the Megan situation. Where you play the victim and you use that to your advantage people feeling sorry for you it's also a rally and cry for these other girls these other women you know they like to get behind anything you know it's hate men you know it's a whole gender war going on out here right don't y'all y'all don't see what's going on i do i do i'm paying attention i ain't i'm not caught all up in social media and what's the new hot thing or doing this and doing that. I'm about this paper. I'm about my principles. And I'm about health as well. Which is why my bike back there. I'm trying to get right, y'all. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I think that she's using this to her advantage right now. I think that she, she's seeing that she's trending. She's seeing that this is a hot topic. And she's going to lean into it. At the expense of that young man. At the expense of YK Osiris. Now, I am not a fan by any form, stretch, or imagination of YK Osiris, y'all. But I'm on the side of right and wrong. And like I said, that brother was wrong. That young boy was wrong. He was wrong. But again, why did he think he could do that? Huh? So we just not going to place no accountability on the woman? Is that where we are today? A place where women don't have to be accountable for their actions at all? They don't have to be accountable for how they represent themselves. The message that they putting out to the, to the young girls, to the youth. Not only that, to the young bulls. Like I just said, she was just getting dog walked in the video. Collar around her neck on a leash getting walked. That's not enough for these young bulls to go follow behind. Come on, man. You got to love your woman. You got to love these women. You got to treat them with respect. But they have to treat themselves with respect. You can't respect somebody who don't respect themselves. That don't make sense to me. I mean, I just choose not to be around somebody who don't want to respect themselves. I don't pay it no mind. But this, this is affecting us. This is one of the problems. We're going to get into a whole bunch of the problems. We got a lot of episodes to go, y'all. We got a lot of talks to have. I'm just getting here. Welcome. We here, though. You feel me? But, yeah, man. Like, am I bugging y'all? Like, when is we going to start really holding people accountable for their actions again? Like, why is everything acceptable at this point? Don't make sense to me. Anything got a justification to it now, y'all. Now, we just watched this girl twerk on a little boy. Where was the public outcry? Where was the public outcry? Little boy probably in elementary school or something like that. How is that not sexual assault? Can he give consent? Can that little boy give consent? I don't think so. Let it have been the other way around. And it was a man doing that to a young girl. 
oh man, front page of the news. He be canceled already. Suki, nothing. Nothing. Nobody said a word. Everybody kept singing about eating ass. Because <laughs> y'all know that that's the topic of her new her new uh, song, right? Is eating ass, eating niggas' asses. That's what she into, so. It's a crying shame. It just is what it is. I'm afraid for us. I'm afraid for us, y'all. I wish that this hip hop thing could just be entertainment. They didn't switch it around. They didn't trick us into thinking that it's not an art form and that it's actually a lifestyle. Like you have to be living what you rapping. Do an actor gotta live out the things that he acting on a on a on a TV show or a movie? He get a script. As black people, we gotta stop setting ourselves up for for traps and disaster, man. I'm just keeping it real. But let me stay on topic, man. Let's let's finish talking about Sookie. So, like I said, man, at the end of the day, this channel is about accountability, and I'm holding her ass accountable. I'm holding YK Osiris accountable too. But Sookie, you gonna have to get this work, baby. You wrong. You wrong and playing victim. You doing all this, and your next song and video is gonna be pure thottery. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a real word. I just made that shit up. Pure thottery. Sorry, it is what it is. You gotta keep it real. Pure thottery. You ain't that hurt. You afraid to speak up for yourself? This can't be the same person that I'm watching these videos on. Who Instagram I just scrolled down. You seem like a very bold and outspoken type of person. I'm surprised that you what are you, what are you afraid of? You look like you loud and proud in your thottery. You feel me? When you gonna take responsibility for the role you playing and how these young girls is coming up? All y'all gotta do is look around, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's sad. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to be a part of this culture sometimes. You feel me? And I don't want to be. I love my people. But y'all are embarrassing. Y'all are embarrassing. We got to do better. We got to do much better. Should we feel bad for Sookie? I'm just curious. Because I don't. Do that make me a bad person? I don't wish no harm on her, but do I feel bad for her? No. No. Because what she doing is she's selling her people out for a dollar. At some point, we're going to have to realize that these rappers don't care about us. They willing to say anything to sell a record. Anything. To get their families out of poverty. They don't give a damn about your family. They don't care what your kids, how your kids is acting. They don't care that they got your kids thotting and sliding on ops and this, that, and the third and disrespecting authority. They don't care. Your kid get killed dead in the street tomorrow. Who who coming to the funeral? Who paying for it? Who helping y'all put this baby in the ground? Not none of them. Not none of the people that, that, that these babies trying to impersonate. I know I'm on my soapbox right now, y'all, but it is what it is. I just got to keep it real. That's how I'm coming. Every time, man. Look, Sookie, this is my message to you, baby. Get it together. You got children. Y'all can hide behind this whole, oh, my kids, they never going to have to work a day in their life, but they going to be embarrassed. You done brought shame upon them. Your family. What real nigga, what, excuse me, what real man is going to take you seriously? Put a ring on your finger. 
If somebody do it, they're not a real man. They have zero respect for themselves. Just keeping it a buck. The real men out there, listen, man, this is a message to y'all. This is not no red pill channel. I'm not into that. I'm not a woman basher. Trust me, it's going to be videos where I'm giving it to you niggas even worse. But right now, this is what we talking about. We talking about Sukiana and females validating thottery. Females validating BS. Get a bunch of girls in a circle and what they do. Cosign bullshit. Don't hold their friends accountable. Lie to each other. You know why? Because misery love company. Most of these women want you to be lonely just like them. In these streets just like them. You got a good man out there, baby girl, take care of him. Put him first if he putting you first. Not if he not, though. But if he putting you first, put him first. That's how this game go. That's how this game go. So like I said, man, this is not a red pill channel. I'm not into that. I I, I love women. But y'all need to be held accountable. Y'all, y'all getting called to the carpet right now. It's just what it is. Hope I ain't offend nobody. But if I did, fuck it. It's life. It's also America's free speech. So you get it together. Understand who you are in this culture. Understand that you got some type of level of influence over these young girls. Try to do something positive with it. Besides man bash and whoring yourself out and encouraging poor behavior. It's not what we need. It's not what we need. And hold yourself accountable. I know it's hard. I know maybe you never had to do it. Right? But after this traumatic experience, oh, I just know you're going to have a change of heart. Right? This is very traumatic for you. You probably don't want to ever have to go through anything like this again. I just can't wait to see how it's reflected in how you moving. I am not justifying what YK Osiris did. Whatever type of backlash that he about to face or that he is facing and whatever um, repercussions there are to what he did, I hope that he got to face him. I hope that he's held accountable. And don't worry, if you serious, he will be held accountable. And to be real, it ain't even about nobody else holding you accountable, Sookie. It's about you holding yourself accountable. You done did enough damage already. You done hurt the youth. You done hurt our young girls enough already. Bounce back. Give them something else to look at. Give them something else to mimic. Besides getting dog walk. And being little thotties. Can you do that? When you go home, can you look at your babies and then look at yourself in the mirror and hold yourself accountable and say, you know what? I need to have changed behavior. I need to carry myself with a little bit more respect. I need to have more respect for my children and my family. I need to have more respect for your foot for my fans, children. Somebody else's child who looking up to this. Now, don't get me wrong. People got to parent their own children and preach to their children that this is just supposed to be entertainment. But we know how that go. Kids don't listen to that. Any rapper, athlete or whoever that these kids is looking up to. None of them want to take accountability. None of them want to be a role model. Everybody think that they could just do what they want to do with no repercussions but those repercussions come in many different forms as we just saw so out of love Suki, as your brother i know i said some hurtful things today but i'm just trying to shock you back in reality it's not about shaming it's about telling the truth i'm only saying 
what I'm seeing. That's it. It's tough love, truth hurts. That's what we do. That's what we do, baby. I take this very personal. I take my people very personal. So, yeah, y'all going to see clips that I post of things that's going on in hip-hop culture. And that's because that's the people that I'm trying to reach. That's the people that I want to talk to. Those are the opinions that I want to change. And I ain't no old man. I ain't no young boy neither. But I care. I care. And I see that there's no end in this cycle. We on the hamster wheels of black race. And we not helping ourselves. And they not helping us. They not helping us. But we not helping us. We got to stop being our own worst enemy. And that's what I'm doing right now. This is love. This is tough love. Somebody got to say it. A lot of y'all got this love thing confused. Think somebody love you, they ain't never supposed to tell you about yourself. No, it's actually the opposite. If I love you, I'm supposed to tell you about yourself. I don't want to see you hurt. I'm trying to help you avoid a pitfall that you ain't got to fall in. I'm telling you, yo, when you go down the block, before you get to the last house, it's a hole in the sidewalk. Walk on the other side of the street. Nah, 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 P. Nah, nah. You hating. You grumpy. <laughs> this is the world I live in, yo. I am not. I'm very happy. I'm just disgusted. I just expect more from us. I know what we capable of. We the greatest thing that this, this world has ever seen. We just forgot. I'm here to remind y'all. Mamas, daddies, auntie, uncles, cousins, big cousins, big homies. Let's act like it. Let's act like it. Yo, man, that's all I got for y'all today. I love y'all. You know what I mean? I don't care if it's one of y'all out there that click on this video. Stay in touch. Tap in, man. I'm here for the real. We don't do that fake stuff over here. You feel me? We're going to keep it a bean at all times. I got a lot more content coming for y'all, man. Thank y'all for staying tuned. I hope y'all made it to the end of the video. You know... Drop a like, share this joint, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know whenever we got some new content dropping. Let's get this party started.